Good morning, everyone. Um, quick video. The races were awesome. We had such a great day. It was hot, uh, extremely hot. Um, but it was a great day. So many followers came along. Like I said in the post, we had followers from all over Sydney, all different parts of Sydney. Mittagong, Crookwell, Maitland, Cessnock, Canberra, Hunters Valley. And then we had this one special lady, and I've since found out her name is Sue, from England. Now, I had a quick chat to Sue and I thought that Sue was over here in Australia and, and she just decided to um, put the cow races in with her plans. But I have since found out that when I put the post out to say when Daffy's races were, um, Sue had said, well, she wanted to go, I think she's only been to Australia, she wanted to go back to Australia. So she, decided to come out to Australia for Daffy's races. Also, she came out to Australia, but when she heard that we had the races on, that was her main reason. She was like, right, I'm going to book a trip. Now, Sue, I wish I had have spoken to you. I, I wish I could have spoken to you longer, um, but uh, there was so many followers there and everybody wanted to talk to me. I didn't know how remarkable your story was. So thank you very much um, for making the trek. And, you know, it was so nice to hear people's stories on uh, how Nan touched their lives and the impact she had. And, yeah, like, it was very, very humbling. Like, I know that Nan would probably listen and go, oh, a lot of bullshit, Melissa. But I think deep down she'd be chuffed. Um, so, and it was so wonderful to chat to everybody. I wish I could have spent more time with people, but obviously like, you know, um, there was so many of you, and then there was friends and then there was family and stuff like that. So uh, the other reason for this video is uh, we, interned Nan's ashes on Saturday just gone so the plaque was uh, put up on Nan's tree uh, the week before Christmas and then uh, my mum and my sister came out and we had Aiden and um, my kids and Mitchell and Olivia um, and we all just went up and it was very um, simple which is how Nan would have liked it and so half of Daffy's ashes are in here at Cowra and I decided to put George's ashes in with her. Um, I know this might sound a bit silly, but I just didn't want Nan there by herself. And George was her dog, uh, who was the family dog, but um, as Nan would say about Reggie with me, or George was always up Nan's ass. And so when I do the videos, um, back in the normal room, um, Georgie boy is not there anymore. Um, he's with Nan. Um, so I will put some pictures in, um, of her plaque and her tree and, um, I put some fairy lights up the other night and it looks absolutely beautiful at night, but I've got some more that I need to put up. I wanted to, I've gone around the tree and then I want it to go further around the branches. So when I finish it to uh, me being happy with, um, I will go up at night and video it and put it up because it is just, it is beautiful. I know deep down Nan would love the tree and the spot. I know that, yeah, she'd be pretty happy with it. So, um, it is tree E46 and it's in the newer part of the cemetery. Um, for those that are uh, 
a local or know the cemetery, there's the main part. And then kind of in between is the, um, the Japanese War Memorial Cemetery. And then they've started a newer part, which goes east up the hill. And um, there's a line of trees and Nan's is, I think, the biggest pear tree. And you'll be able to see her plant because we've put a photo on there, but I'll put a photo in too. Feel free to go up and have a chat to her. Um, I know she would like that. More than happy for people to leave flowers. Um, just like I said in other videos, like no ornaments or anything like that. Nan wouldn't want a big fuss of stuff um, there, I don't think. We did take up her two little ornaments that she absolutely loved, which you would have seen in one of the videos. She, Annalise gave her a little kitten and then a little kitten and a little dog. So we've put those up there as well. So yeah, it was an emotional weekend, um, but Nan, <clears throat> I'm sure would have been looking down and and yeah, very happy. I will do the Bandara side of things um, during the year this year. We just, it's probably been a bit of bad timing for Nan's family in Bandara. So we'll just wait a little bit before uh, we put Nan up with her mum and dad. So yeah, feel free to go up and have a chat to Nan. She'd love it. And um, like I said, we still have stubby holders that are at the neighbourhood centre in Cowra. I am working towards putting them online. I know I've been saying this, but I've had so much going on. Like my brain is just exhausted. Um, so yeah, there's a lot been going on in the background and um, you know, I just need to pull my finger out. But anyway, um, yeah, get up with a smile on your face and don't be a dickhead.